Hey everybody, welcome back. This is Georgiana with Expressions Craft Studio and today I'm doing something a little different. Um, in I believe it was my last video I made a gift card holder and I used some of, I'm using all scraps, but it was a particular scrap I was talking about where I was trying to find my source for where I'd purchased it from and I thought it was from Creative Fabrica. Well, I'd hoped it was from Creative Fabrica. I wasn't able to find it, uh, but while searching for that paper, which was probably from Design Bundles or Etsy or something like that, I found this great designer. Well, it's, I think he's great. He's called Digital Arts by Larry. And I found some gorgeous papers out here. Some of them I've already downloaded. Some of them I haven't. Um, but I just kind of wanted to show you what's available through this designer. Uh, he's got a lot of great stuff. And... You know, if you're into scrapbooking, junk journaling, even card making, there's just a lot of beautiful, um, I think, beautiful papers out here. So I'm going to download a few. And um, actually, before I do that, let's just kind of preview what we can. Um, I don't know if it'll let us enlarge. No, it doesn't. So anyway, uh, but you can see he's got samples of the writings here and these are this is just a, a black handwriting overlay that you can put on any background um, and then you can build on it if you want to layer your different designs and make your own design um, so there's there's a lot of options here and this is a very small small picture but you can kind of see kind of what's available so I'm going to just hit download and when it pops up I always go and add my source to the front of the name of the file. So in this case, it's Creative Fabrica. So I add a CF because I do abbreviate. And I want it in my downloads folder. I have several others in there. So I'm just going to hit enter. Now, I did decide, when I first signed up with Creative Fabrica, I did do just a monthly membership. And I think it was nine something. Um, but now they're offering a discount, and they have been for a while, of $3.99 a month. And if you pay that yearly, the price never goes up. So for $47, I said, well, that's that'll take me five months of what I've been paying $9 a month to get it for $4 a month. And it has a lot of resources. If you're into junk journaling, you will find junk journaling kits out here, templates. Uh, I mean, it, I, I'm just talking about paper crafts, but they do have other stuff. Um, so anyway, I went ahead and changed my subscription plan to pay yearly, and I'm getting it for $3.99 a month. I highly recommend it if you love printables, because of all of the websites that I've used that offer printables, to me this is the best one. Design Bundles does occasionally do their dollar deal sales, which is really good, but they don't do it all the time. Whereas this, you know, this is just, to me this is great. So anyway, I've downloaded that one. Enough of the sales pitch. You can sign up or not. I will add a link if you want to sign up under me. That's great. I do get a little bit of a commission. It doesn't cost you anything extra. But you don't need my link to sign up. You can just go to creativefabrica.com if you're co more comfortable with that and sign up that way. So we've downloaded that one. I'm going to pick a couple more here that I know I missed my first time around. I did already download the Luxury Shimmer sequins because, you know, why not? I think I did the gold. I definitely did the black. Um... I don't know if I did the antique gold or not, but I did do this silver glitter frame border divider P uh, file set. Um, there's so many here. I know I did the 16 colors of diamond overlay, and I this is what drew me in, this one right here. Antique gold metallic. Beautiful, beautiful papers in this one. And there's 42. So if you only downloaded one of his files a month that's 42 images for four dollars and you can download as many as you want it's unlimited did i not say that before it's unlimited so it's i mean it's great now you will want to read the licensing uh instructions whether it's commercial print on demand not all of them allow you to do print on demand or commercial but most of them do and um if you find one that you really, really love that isn't going to allow you to use it the way you want to use it, just keep looking because you'll find a suitable substitute. Um, but anyway, I loved this one. This is what drew me in. I, I have to have that because I know I'll use it. So here's just another sample. I love these brushed metallics. 
There's a few more samples. Let me just enlarge that. Look at those. Aren't they magnificent? I love these as well. Now this last one's got my favorite on it, but then it's also got some other really interesting stuff. So um, I've already downloaded this one and it should say that actually, but uh, let me try to zoom back. There we go. It for some reason doesn't tell me that I downloaded it, but I know I did. So we're not going to download that one. Um, Velvet. I didn't look at that one when I was in here before. Let's look at some of their larger samples. Oh, that's nice. Oh, I love that. And you can see here, there's a print on demand. They're probably going through, well, there's any number of companies that do print on demand. I use Zazzle, but there are others. Um, look at that. Oh, these, these are beautiful. Um, even if you're just using them as fillers, if you're, you know, you're um, comfortable enough with your um, design software to use these to fill in backgrounds and stuff, they're, they're wonderful texture. So I am going to download that because I did not get that one before. And again, I'm adding my CF. And I have um, liked his followed him or like following designer because I like so much of his stuff. I can't possibly, okay, well I can, but I won't download all of his files that I like today. But look at this one. I don't even know if this is still through him. Nope, this is Digital Curio. Okay, they're another one of my favorites. Um, and I feel like I've probably done this one before, so I'm not going to do it. To, oh, no, I'd recognize those birds. Yeah, I haven't done this one before. I love Digital Curio. I just love their style. Here we go. Let's let's blow that up. So you got some tufted stuff here in the background. It's it's not very clear uh, in the picture, but they've got beautiful stuff. So you'll want to check them out. Um, if you're like I said, if you're into digitals, these this, this is one of my favorite companies. I've been following them since before they were on Creative Fabrica. Uh, I bought a lot of stuff off of them when they were just selling on Etsy. So, okay, let's move on. Let's get back to Larry. We were, we're focusing on Larry today. But you've got some polka dots here. A hundred different solid color backgrounds. I mean, um, that's pretty good. I love rose gold. I already picked that one up, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, it's not telling me I downloaded it. I'm going to refresh my screen. It's still not telling me. Okay, well, then I'll just download it again. And if it's a duplicate, I will just delete it. I know I downloaded some rose gold stuff, but maybe it wasn't the gradient, but there are 30 images in that bundle. And let's see if we can get a better look at some of them. These are pretty small samples. Here we go. Look at that. So again, these are great for backgrounds, for so many things. Again, this is a print-on-demand uh, cell phone cover. So, yeah, there's a, a lot to choose from there. It always takes me a while. I can enlarge it quickly, but un unlarging it, <laughs> shrinking it back down always takes me longer. Uh, you didn't know you were going to get an English lesson today, did you? Sorry about that. Um, vintage backgrounds, I, do, I did download that one. I got this... Uh, actually, I don't know if I got this glitter gold glitter particle set. You see these are nice. These are overlays that'll just look good on anything. Or as or to highlight a specific digital image. I mean there's there's lots of options. Here's the whole set, but we're not going to be able to see very much of it, but um how many of them are there? Let's see. 60. 60 gold particles and 10 light flares. I mean, that's quite a bit. That's a lot of bang for your buck right there. So, see here I go. I'm going to I'm going to spend all day now having to unzip these things and sort them into my file folders. Okay, I know I downloaded this one yesterday. I love these kind of plaids and it doesn't tell me I downloaded. I wonder if I need to do an update. But I love plaids. I love this kind of plaid. 
Um, they've made a roll of fabric here. That's a print on demand. Here's another print on demand and another, you know, so that's, that's if you want to turn them into fabrics, but they're great as papers. So let's see, I saw one down here that I definitely wanted to download that I didn't do yesterday. And then we'll wrap this up because um, this was just a quick little diversion from my crafting. Oh, this one, hanging pearl chain strings. I love these, especially when I'm doing a background for uh, scrapbooks or um, I can't think of the word I want. The um, the little uh, junk journals. That's the word I want. These these are great to to fill in in the background, and um, you know to just add a different element. They also make good dividers. Uh, the strings do anyway. Those make really nice dividers. If you like a little glitz and glam. For me, glitz and glam is all about the eye candy. I'm not a glitzy glamour kind of girl, but I love I love it when it when it. Uh, catches my eye. Oh, look at those little flower pearl drops. Those are pretty. Yeah, I definitely have to have this one. And the frames, those frames are nice. Very nice. Alright, so we're going to try to shrink it back down. There we go. I've had this laptop for years and I'm still, I'm, I've just always been a mouse person, but I've had to learn to use the touchpad, so Yeah, I love that one. So again, these are, what do we say? Designs by Larry. Go back up. Digital Arts by Larry. Uh, let's go back down to where we were. Easier said than done. Just maybe see if I can find one more. And sometimes it doesn't put them back in the same order that you just saw them in for some reason. I did do this seamless glitter damask overlay because I'm a sucker for damask as well. Um... Shimmering Mermaid. Ooh. Loves me some mermaids. I have a friend, Janine, who loves mermaids. She would love those. I thought I saw one. Well, I'll come back. He's in my favorites. Um, I thought I saw one that had some really nice blue bows on it. Maybe I went past it in my rush to get back to where I was. Oh, Magical Unicorn Foil. So this is similar to the one I used the other day, but it doesn't have all of the um, the glittery stuff. You know, the sparkle background stuff. And it might be that I added that to it myself. I don't think I did, but I might, I might have. But this is similar to what I was using the other day. So if anybody's interested, it's under Iridescent Magical Unicorn Foil Paper. That's a mouthful. Things by Larry would be easier, but then you'll have to search through all of his listings. Because, yeah, that actually looks really similar to what I used right there. So I probably did add one of my overlays to it. I'm just going to add this to my favorites, and I'll double-check it later. And by later, I mean maybe a year or two from now, I have a lot of stuff in my favorites. Oh, there's the blue bows I was looking for. But I also noticed this. Bling, bling, real diamond paper backgrounds. Ooh, let's see. Okay, well, I'm not as in love with it as I thought I was. Okay, yeah, I actually am going to take a pass on that one. Not my fave, but I do want to look at these blue bows because I do do a lot of Christmas cards, and I love to work with blues for Christmas, and there's a lot of bows in there. A lot and I love that shade of blue I love the way this bow here wraps around that shape that rectangular shape pretty and you get 56 digital bows okay Larry I'm taking this one too All right, so I'm going to quit looking at Larry because I could probably just go on all day. And some of these guys have hundreds, if not thousands, of uh, listings. Here's one from the Cat Lady, and I'm not going to go there, but this recent history, you all know what I'm talking about. <laughs> uh, so there's 31 mint and pink Christmas 
clip arts. Oh, I love the Santa. Ah, oh, gingerbread cookie. There's another Santa. The tree is magnificent. And I love the houses and stuff and the fireplace. Let's get these a little bit larger and move over here. Oh, my goodness, Christmas globe. The sleigh. Oh. What else do we have? There's the house. There's a different Santa. The little reindeer's darling. And I love the little lamp. I'm good. I, what can I can't help myself I'm going to download it because you know I might want it later and it is full commercial usage and print on demand all right let's back her up let's see oh you know what actually I'm going to go back to this page and I want to look at this artist um, what else she offers because I do like that well enough so these guys and actually, pretty much anything on the site, you know, there's sublimation, SVGs, PNGs, EPS, PDFs, cut files. There's all kinds of stuff that they offer here on Creative Fabrica. It's not just printables, but they do offer a lot of printables. Um, okay, I'm, I'm drawn to this one just because of the color. It's Motivational Sublimation Quotes. And I love the rainbow colors and the brights. And Oh, okay, let's enlarge this. The future is mind. Okay. I'm not sure I get that, but okay. I like the make your own magic. That is cute. Wouldn't that be cute on a t-shirt for a little girl? The unicorn. I love me some unicorns. You're never too old for unicorns, ladies. Don't let anybody tell you different. Focus on the good. Okay. Always believe in the impossible. Okay. Dream it. With it. Wish it. Do it cool be kind that's a very cute little sunflower ish thing find yourself and do that Aww. so there's a lot of cute stuff in there so um, I'm just gonna favorite that one for now and this is another thing I like these floral window clip art series that people put out um, this is by the cat lady as well and these are just really nice. Let me kind of enlarge that a little bit so you can see it better. Look at that. That would be lovely on a card. A, maybe a housewarming card. Or, I don't know, could be anything. Um, as part of a bigger compilation, maybe, even. Let's go back at one more. Let's see what else she's got down here. Well, Halloween's coming up, so... She's got a lot of Halloween stuff right here, it looks like. Oh, and then there's a cute alphabet with a Santa. Tarot cards. I know a lot of people like those for their junk journals. That's really cute. Gingerbreads. Some football stuff. That's cute. More Halloween type things. So she's got, she's got a lot of interest. Oh, you know what? I think I've done this before, the butterfly alphabet. So I've probably been to the Cat Lady site before. Um, witch hat clip art bundle. Okay, these are cute for Halloween. Look at those. Let's let's enlarge those a bit. Those are really cute. Oh, very darling. I love them. Let's see what else she's got. Let's just do one more quick look. Butterflies. Always one of my favorites are butterflies. Uh, spider webs. Those are some nice spider webs or cobwebs there. That's nice. Dragonflies. I love those too. Um, more butterflies. There's a peeking black cat. Yeah, that's kind of cute. I have a black cat, so I'm kind of drawn to that one as well. Let's see. It's a little more cutesy than I like, but it is cute. I love the one with the head popping out of a box. Our cat does that. When we get shipping boxes, my husband will cut a couple holes in it to play with her, and she ends up busting through them. Those are cute. I'd have to change the eyes to green, but those are cute. Oh, how cute are those? I love the tree one. She actually doesn't bother the tree as much as she likes the train we put underneath it, but those are darling. More tarot cards. Well, she's got a lot of Halloween stuff. There's some more black cat stuff. Uh, so she's, she's got quite a bit. And if you keep scrolling, it'll refresh. 
and you'll see what you, you can eventually get all the way to the bottom if they have a lot of stuff wildflower alphabet those are nice oh those are very pastel -y. glitter rainbow butterfly clip art that looks like that would be amazing for like little girls look at those for a little baby onesie or t-shirt or something let's just let's just favorite that uh, I need to clean out my favorites at some point because I've had a lot to it and look at this dragon I can see I have two little boys in my life who would probably just be adorable wearing these little dragons on t-shirts oh, he is so cute look at that ooh nice I love those I, and I've un I understand Cricut has some new material or maybe it's new to me anyway I haven't bought any yet that you can print on and then iron it on and apparently it's really good stuff so um, I have to check that out did I add that I think I added that to my favorites I'm so busy trying to tell multiple stories at one time that I get lost let's see the hearts are cute <gasps> look at that little sea unicorn seahorse and unicorn bundle those are cute too So see, we've barely touched the surface with this. Um, oh, I love that. So darling. But there's so much you can do with this stuff, guys. I mean, it's amazing. Um, oh, cute cat clip art. We had an orange cat kind of like that. We, we're cat people. Um, I love dogs. and My heart bleeds for dogs, but I don't have the energy for a dog. Uh, there's some more cute unicorns some sea life stuff so lots of dra more dragons lots of stuff to choose from and that's just from the cat lady so let's go back and let's go out to the main page here and they've got fonts I, I picked up a font from here that I was using the other day uh, and it's called the Bridgerton font let's see if we can <clears throat> search for it And there it is. I just used this the other day. And these are you are you can use them in your Cricut Design Space. You can probably use them in other stuff. It's just Design Space is what I have, so that's what I'm referring to. But um, it's a very very beautiful, elegant font. And let's see what else do we have. There's there's a couple of them that are apparently called Bridgerton. There's one that's thicker. Now sometimes I have run into the problem because I I love fonts. I have over a thousand fonts. Um, if they're named the same thing you can only use one or the other so at least and I haven't figured out a way to use both yet I've even tried renaming it and that hasn't worked so uh, just something for you to be aware of but oh this was a surprise Bridgerton Wisteria clip art rectangle look at those let's just zoom in a little bit now those are nice Those are very pretty. You know what that means. Download. So I know this is a different kind of video than what I usually do, but I just wanted you to see where I got some of my stuff. And then I got in here looking. It actually just kind of came about quite accidentally. I wanted to, to find a file that I'd previously talked about and shared um, pictures of. And then I got distracted and thought, oh, maybe I should show people what are out here. So anyway, there's lots of fonts. I don't even know how many fonts there are, but there's a lot to choose from. Halloween, Baby Boho. Now that's cute. I'm going to favorite that. Monogram stuff, handwritten fonts, thick. I love that too. Black sample. That's pretty. And let me tell you something else. If you go, and I don't think I can show you right now because the way my settings are set, but Word, W-O-R-D, Mark, M-A-R-K-I-T, Word Market, will allow you to see what fonts you have on your computer. So maybe I'll pause this real quick and, and see if we can do that. But we'll come back to it here in a minute, if I remember. Okay, because this video wasn't long enough, I did decide to go ahead and come back here and show you uh, Word Market. And what I, I'm glad I did, because it's wordmark.it. And that's how you find this website. So um, 
I'm just going to type in, well, what, what's, what's, let's go Halloween. Looks funny. I feel like I've spelled it wrong, but I don't think I did. So you just type it in and hit enter. And then you can tell it if you want smaller or bigger. And I know you can't see my whole screen. I don't know why that is. Uh, I don't know what that is. I tried to close and add. So we're going to go smaller. And there's different ways you can sort them if you like. But I usually just start at the beginning and work my way through. And it'll show you the fonts that you have installed on your system. And how they look in whatever text you typed in. So this one is cute. I feel like I spelled Halloween wrong. I'm looking at that going, that just doesn't look right. Um, I think it is, but it doesn't look right. So anyway, you, you know, there's all kinds of, you know, again, I have thousands, so we're not going to go all the way through these, but you can see the different um, fonts that you have that are installed in your system. Um, there's just a lot to choose from, you know, when you, if you've got as many fonts as I do, this is actually one of the parts of the pr designing process that takes me forever because I have so many fonts. Um, oh, look at this one, Ancient Geometry. That's cool. That's kind of a steampunky thing. Um, and then there are fonts that are just ornaments, like this one and other ornaments. And so uh, I've got a lot of those too. I think we used to call them dingbats or wingbats or wingdings or so something like that. That's what Windows used to call them. Um, and maybe they still do. Here's a Halloween. Well, it's because I typed Halloween. Uh, Asiatic lily flower. So some of those you wouldn't want to use every letter um, with the design on it, but you know, as a good first letter, that might be nice. Um, there's just, I found this a great tool. It was recommended by um, someone in one of the groups I used to be in. Um, and I've found it very useful. So we're just gonna keep this kind of short, but you, oh, see, that's a pretty one. Best swashed. I like that because I love the curls and swirls and all that stuff. Here's one that is just ornamental, which is good if you're making frames or stuff or you need something to go around a sentiment just to kind of help highlight it a little bit. But that's that's word market and I use it every time I'm going to add a font to a project, which is almost every project. So uh, I, for me, it's come in really handy. But you know, if you're interested in something like that, it's very useful. And again, let me just see if I can zoom in up here. It's not going to let me zoom into that. So it's, I'll, I'll link it below as well in case you're having trouble finding it. But uh, again, it's a very useful tool. So keep that in mind. Um, so anyway, there's the fonts. You've got images. Um, they've got mock-ups. Kawaii stuff, you know, that's a popular kind of cartoony kind of art stuff. Backgrounds, patterns, frames, quotes, borders, corners, sketches, coloring pages. Those are under images. They've got 3D crafts. If you have a, a, the laser cutter, that kind of stuff, or your Cricut or Silhouette or any of those, you can, you know, these are SVGs that you can import into your design software and cut this stuff out. So those are cool. I've got some of those. Um, Let's go back and just regular craft stuff. I haven't actually, I don't know if I've ever clicked on that. Well, I guess I have. It's just a variety of different things. Um, treat top, treat bag topper outline. So here's, if it's not an SVG, you could certainly make it one. And I have, I have not downloaded this one. But um, I thought they'd show other pictures of it. But anyway, that's that's easy to do in your Cricut. Even if you just, you know, make a note of that picture and redesign it yourself, you could easily do that. Um, accept what is, let go what was, and believe in what will be. Oh, that's a beautiful sentiment. Needlework stuff, photos. Let's click on photos. It's taking it a while to, there we go. So you've got some realistic art there. Trying to get my scroll to work. Tools. I don't believe I've looked at tools. Web front converter or web font converter, the craft club, shape cloud generator. Yeah, so I, I don't use that, but that doesn't mean you can't. Print on demand. 
um, assets. So I don't know if this is just a list of everything that's print on demand or what it is, but there's a lot of different stuff in there, a little bit of everything it looks like. Some bundles, you've got them separated by bundles if you're looking for stuff like that, whether it be a font bundle or a graphics bundle. Um, and then they do have classes that you can download as well. I don't I have never been in the studio, so I don't know what that does. But anyway, just to kind of give you a quick overview, I'm not I'm not an expert at um, Creative Fabrica. I just know how to go in and find what I want to find if it's there, and uh, I just wanted to share that with you. So this was a a really long, drawn out as most of my videos are. I should be the chatty crafter, or the rambling crafter, or the crazy crafter. We could pick any one of those. Um, but, but if you're interested in digitals, this is a great way to get them. And it really is, you can, you'll find more than you'll ever be able to use. I know I have. And um, anyway, I'll share my link below. You don't need to use the link. As I mentioned before, it is an affiliate link. But you can just go straight out to their to their website at creativefabrica.com and sign up if you prefer to do it that way that's great um, I'm all about sharing it's you know if I can make a little extra while I'm doing it that's great but if not I'm okay with that too um, so I just want to help people find the resources that they need to to be creative because I do think it's important and I know for me it's kind of like therapy um, I won't go into why I need therapy <laughs> But crafting really is kind of like therapy for me, and I think it is for a lot of people. So it's just a great way to relax and unwind and let go of let go of the small stuff that really, in in the grand scheme of things, doesn't matter. So um, okay, enough. I'll get off my soapbox. I'll say goodbye. I'll thank y'all again for joining me. For those who stuck through to the end, you are special people because you have the patience of Job. Because I know that I'm not easy to listen to. So thanks again. Until next time, I'll be back with some crafting stuff. This is Georgiana, and I hope you have a happy crafty day.